One of the things I like about working in the garden or working outside or taking a hike is kind of discovering things in nature and then finding out a little bit more about it. Notice here, it's a big mound and there's vegetation on top. Not sure if you can pick it up, but there's other mounds in the same area. Anyway, when we originally moved here 20 years ago, we had to kind of wonder. It almost looked like it was um, what we used to call the Indian Mounds. I'm sure now they would call it the Native American Mounds, but it was an area we would go that was a Native American burial area. And it was mounds like this, only very big. So to me, this almost reminded me of a little Native American mound area. Once spring came, I quickly discovered what caused these mounds. Here's what I call a work in progress mound. It is actively being worked on and it is made by the Allegheny Mound Dance, which pretty aptly named. I mean, they make a mound. It's a little cooler today, so the ants aren't quite as active as usual. But if you watch them, you'll see quite a few of them running around. So you can see the ant is kind of like half black, half red. It's a little hard to see here. And the ones that are lighter in color are actually newly emerged. And right now I'm sure they're all trying to find food to bring back to the larva. Now they don't sing, but they can bite if the mound is threatened. Their lifespan is very short, only two to three months depending on soil temperature from egg to an adult. They do, however, hibernate during the colder month. When one of these mound colonies is initially started, started by a mated queen, one queen, but then the colony eventually has many queens to lay eggs. A large colony may divide, just kind of like honeybees do, and start a new colony over time. The new colonies take several years to develop, enough to make an above ground nest. A mound this size, might actually contain, oh, maybe 150,000 ants. If it's 19 inches or higher, it can be a quarter of a million ants. Now the mound tunnels can run as deep as three feet, and some people say six feet, so I'm not sure which is correct. The ants work on stripping the vegetation from the top of the mound, and you can see they've done some of that here. But in my experience, they don't strip all of it. They strip the vegetation by actually biting it and depositing formic acid. And this above ground, as it gets bare soil, kind of acts as a solar heater and it helps incubate the ant eggs and larva. Now, the mound grows by the excavated soil from the tunnels they dig. The workers collect a variety of small insects to feed the larva. They also collect honeydew secretions from sap-sucking insects such as aphids. Now some people might consider these ants pests, and I'm sure if they're in the middle of your lawn, that is true. But in this case, they have built their mound in ground cover area, and not an area I usually step in, so it's fine. But I find that they do a lot of good. Um, they kill a lot of garden pests that uh, want to eat my vegetables and my fruit trees. So they're kind of part of my natural pest management system. Well, I hope you found this interesting. I do. I just love watching nature. And if you ever see one of those big mounds and wonder what it is, it may be an Allegheny ant mound. This is Prepper Popery saying please subscribe, share the knowledge, and never ever lose your wonderment of nature. Thank you. Thumbs up if you like this video.